Mike's World. You guys already know what's up, everybody out there. How's it going, my man? My man's and woman's man's out there. Um, hope everybody's having a good one. Uh, this is just a little reaction right here. You know me, I, I'm going to stay on top of my reaction game. I react to all types of stuff. I like to laugh. I like to joke, serious stuff, all that. So, right, as you guys know, I've reacted a bunch of times to stuff out of Chicago. Chicago, the windy city. Shot on. Shot up. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm, I've always kept up, like I've said a million times, with all their, not on their Latino and the Rasa gangs, but their uh, GDs, BDs, all that. You know, it's part of the the cultura, as in urban cult, cultura. You know, uh, for people that don't know what that means, it means over culture. You know, uh, my grandpa was a greaser in Fresno. Goes all the way back to that, you know, slick hair and keeping cigarettes in their in their arm packs. It's just it's in my blood, you know. So <clears throat> I always looked up to the 50s greasers and gangs and all that. But anyway, point being, this is just a little video about FPG Butter. You guys might be asking, was that FPG Flyboy Gang? Little clique that came out of uh, South Chicago right around the 60s area, 63rd, 64th, and uh, the funny part is these guys have had a major war resulting, that's not funny, but resulting in many deaths on both sides. Rest in peace to all those young men involved in that. Uh, King Vaughn and FPG Duck. As a, he's another, this is FPG Butter. Uh, the funny part, though, in my mind, is it how hard these guys are with their guns. And when they in them rap songs, when they're on their perks, you know, and all that, how hard and tough they are. But when it comes to be a real man, like do your time knuckle up in jail they start crying and making up stories and more shit than i ever done seen heard anything like that and it's it's pretty comical you know so let's jump right into it and watch this dude man he'd be panics panic panic time panic city let's check it out the arrest of fbg butter the hardest g of all time I'm going back Thank in, bro. Okay. No, I'm going Stop. back in, bro. Stop, you're making I'm, it bigger than what it is. All I'm I asking. Said, I'll talk to you when you sit in the car. You're not talking to I've me, told though, you that bro. Five times or <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> you guys, you're not talking to me, bro. No, I'm not. Put your feet in. No, bro. You can you see, I, you see I, once I get in the car, you can talk to me, bro. Come on. You're not in the car. Put your feet in the car. Come on. Bro. Stop. Put your feet in the Just car. Just tell me what did I do? Put your feet in the car and I'll okay. speak with you. You're not still telling me what I did. I don't know if you guys see what I see. I don't know what you guys see. I'm sure, you know, perspective is everything. Let's keep that in mind. But what I see right here in front of me, I don't know how old this 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 young, he's a young buck, obviously. I mean, maybe in the 20s. In his mid twenties, but what I see though, through when I look at someone, I don't see what I see, like tattoos or a grown man or I might even see a sixty. What I see is behavior. Behavior shines through the true essence, the true age, the aura of the person. And the way he he looks right now is in his voice and his dress and everything. I just see a grown like a. a a six year, about no, nah, maybe not six, something like eight, between eight and nine years old. An eight and nine year old who just found out you done took you're taking his, his switch or his Xbox for the whole week. Um, his heart is crushed and broken. He crying, he ain't acting like a man. I don't give a damn what your charge is. I don't give a damn if it's murder, if you're about to go to the best part of your life. Like, man, it, it, what's happening is happening. And the more you've been through shit in your life as a grown man and an adult. You know, losing loved ones, uh, thing, dealing with things that are out of your control. The less you start to act like this in situations, certain situations is like, damn, I got to deal with you. This motherfucker got to know he's on camera. Don't you want to be a rapper? Don't you guys love waving them pistols in front of the camera? What happened? To the, why don't you tell him, hey, what's up? Take me in there. And you, you know everybody's going to see this. You're on a damn cam, dash cam, video cam, fucking a body cam. Man up, boy. Yeah, bro. Listen, I'll tell you what you do. Y'all just woke me up out of my sleep. What did I do? What did I do? Bud, I'll talk to you. Come on. What did I do, gang? All right. I'll be the humble grab this one. Y'all can't force me in the car. I asked for an ice cream. So I got to say this. You know, I'm going to come right out and say it. 
No disrespect to any race. Matter of fact, disrespect to every race. Uh, the, the only race that I, the, the, I'm racist against the human race. <laughs> Something my grandpa used to say. But anyway, um, I really treat everybody equals. I think we're all got our ups, our downs. When you're, when you're up, you're never as high as it seems. And when you're down, you're never as low as it seems. Lesson learned from this video. But uh, you would think, and this was, was going to be my statement. Like I said, no disrespect to anyone of color. I, I brown skin, and I know by now. It ain't no surprise when an officer profiles you, comes, pulls you out your bed, uh, profiles you for the way you dress, where you live, or may, or who you are, period. Why is this man acting? He got his name is FBG something. He's probably involved with a gang. Of course he is. That everybody that all the police officers know of. Yet so surprised. Like he really are you like he's really surprised. I'm, I'm questioning myself if this man is really surprised that he's getting taken in by an officer or if he just plays the part very well. He can't be surprised with the shit that he's involved in, the name that he has, and, and the type of police that are out there. you got to be around the block at least enough to know, arrested enough to know that this shit is fucking due process for an average hood, young buck from the hood. Come on, my man. I asked for a white shirt. I asked for a white shirt. I asked for... Bro, I asked for a white shirt. Oh, took I asked for a white shirt, gang. I asked for a white shirt, bro. I asked for a white shirt, Stop bro. sticking your leg out there. No, bro. I Come asked on, for a white shirt. I didn't do nothing. My door in the So, y'all. Hey, put your foot in, man. What did I'm I do? I'm not going to play this game. What I do? Stop or you're going to catch a charge. I'm what telling you right I now. Do? You know, that's how you know he's young, though. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to say cry. But there may have been a point when I was with a bag that fucking, you know, 19, 20, man, let me go. But at a certain age, you realize that, like, especially if you done done the crime, begging, especially crying like a girl, that ain't to get you nowhere, especially if the officer's a man, a real man. You better up to step up and say, look, man, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but if you can take me in, let's do this. Get somebody to grab my daughter, whatever. The crying, like a anyone officer or anyone else has to see what I see, a six-year-old boy sitting there. You can't handle any situation like that and cur down. Um, I'm not saying don't argue it. I'm not saying don't try to get off, maybe draw a, a line in the sand, but you're doing it uh, all wrong, all wrong, in my opinion. Speak to the man like a man. Man to man. You're not being charged with anything. We're just taking you back. Oh, That's you're doing I'll talk to you in a second. Put your foot Put your foot in, See, bro. I'm still by All herself, right. gang. Oh, I'm two, her mama it. did, gang. Ah, 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 <laughs> Do you hear him? Oh, man, he's pulling the, hey, Rodney King 101. Ah, he hit me. He saved me. <laughs> Just kidding. My Put your foot in. My <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back in, bro. Oh man, all right. That's it, my peoples, man. I'm sorry, that was funny. I had to throw that one in there because everybody knows about FBG buddy here. And that's coming from that um uh, Chirax Rarest. If you guys haven't checked it out, you go check out the channel. He's the one that's been dropping all them crazy videos about leaked fit footage from the uh county, leaked footage from the streets, from body body cams. He's got the down low. Down low, no loud low down, no doubt. You know what I mean? All right, Mike's world, just another little one to crack up and laugh about. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, check out the new uh, membership I got going. I'm going to be telling stories on there that I'm not only embarrassed, but just had few to with myself to tell anywhere else because, you know, like I said, they're my stories. So if you guys ever want to check that out, jump in there and check that out too. Those are the home slices right there. Get you a slice of that home pie.